We start with breaking news at 5. A bomb threat has closed the campus at Colorado Mountain College in Leadville. A suspect has been arrested, but the all clear hasn't been sounded yet. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is live in Leadville tonight, and Mark investigators are still looking for a device. You know there's going to be like cute. That's right. Never so often you can see uh, some students coming out of uh, this entrance right here to Colorado Mountain College as it's blocked off right here by Department of Corrections agents. But all day, tensions high around campus and around Leadville as everybody tries to figure out exactly what's going on on campus. This is far from a typical day at Colorado Mountain College in Leadville. Lake County Office of Emergency Management says around 9 this morning, one man was taken into custody after a bomb threat was called into 911. This is the alert text sent to students like Harrison Burnett. If you're on campus, stay put and then um, basically if you're not on campus, don't go up to campus. While Colorado Mountain College was put on lockout, so were Lake County Public Schools. A college spokesperson says some high school students also take classes here at CMC in this tight-knit campus of 450 students. It's and pretty laid back, you know. Everybody knows each other up there. It's a small campus, you know. And if you look at this map, you can see which buildings on campus were evacuated, with some students told to shelter in place. But for one former student, that idea didn't make some of his friends on campus feel very safe. They've got them all in the cafe, and in my opinion, that's not the most secure location they could keep the students. Um, staff does care about the safety of students there, but they're all a little unnerved that they've just all kind of been left in the cafe, and by what I've been told, they haven't been told much. While there hasn't been any information about a potential device released yet, leaders on campus are hoping to get classes back on schedule tomorrow. Now, Department of Corrections agents will be out here blocking this campus off and these streets off until the threat is cleared. We're told they've cleared a couple of vehicles on campus, but they're going through some of the buildings now. We'll continue to keep you up to date with the very latest. Live in Leadville, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.